Our next category leads us to the award for Rising Star, which is sponsored by NHS Employers. Now, the award recognises individuals which have shown exceptional qualities that embody the best of nursing and the leadership skills to inspire others to follow their example. Alan, the nominees, please. Well, we have 12 nominees in the running, and they are Lindsay Bibby, Spectrum Community Health, CIC. Tanya Cannon, Coleridge Medical Centre. Rihanna Collier, Royal Brompton and Harefield FT. Sophie Daniels, Gildan's Group Practice. Nicola Farnell, the Royal Wolverhampton NHS Trust. Sergeant Lucy Lawton, HM Forces. Edisil LaRusso, St George's University Hospitals, FT. Julia Shaw, Great Ormond Street Hospital for Children, FT. Charlotte Smith, Royal Papworth Hospital, FT. Naomi Nadine Thicket, Swansea Bay University Health Board. Emily Waits, the Royal Wolverhampton NHS Trust. And Zara Zayman, Bart's Health NHS Trust. Now to reveal our fourth winner, I'm going to hand over to category sponsor Liz Gambrell, who's Interim Director of Engagement for NHS Employers. Hello, my name is Liz Gambrell from NHS Employers and I'm absolutely thrilled to be presenting the Rising Star category at this year's Nursing Times Awards. The judges felt that the winner had created a service with real impact for a client group that might otherwise have been overlooked. They faced challenges head on and overcame organisational barriers. The judges were impressed by feedback from the service and could see savings made by it. A clear leader, our winner designed the service and delivered the training while still being a band five, which is really impressive. And our winner is Lindsay Bibby from Spectrum Community CIC. Liz, thank you very much. Let's talk to Lindsay. She's smiling in that picture. Oh, Lindsay, hello, congratulations. An even bigger smile. How are you feeling? Hello, I'm quite emotional actually. Well, that's completely understandable. The work you do is important and being recognised, I suppose, is, is also important. Tell me about the team behind you. Um, I work with a fantastic team and a fantastic company um, for a service group that's quite often overlooked um, and not trek the way that they should be trek. And I saw that and tried to change it hopefully i have made a difference you've made a massive difference you've made an absolutely massive difference i'm not sure who's beside you but i hope you get to hug someone and congratulate and high five and do all of that there you go look there's an arm going around you just to, oh there you go and they know exactly how hard you work so look have a big hug have a glass of something and celebrate and i'm giving i'm giving a cheers up to I'm you right now <laughs> oh congratulations have a brilliant thank evening you. i'm so pleased thank you so much oh you've got a very proud thank husband you. behind beside you as well <laughs> isn't that lovely steve it's just fantastic now next we have managing long-term conditions this award aims to recognise initiatives that have improved services for patients with one or more long-term conditions. So, Alan, how many have been shortlisted? We have 11 on the shortlist, Naga. Here they are. Anarin Bevan University Health Board. Belfast Health and Social Care Trust. Care UK promoting dignity at the end of life, HM Prison Oakwood. Care UK, HM Prison Stafford, a multi-professional approach to complex care. East London FT, Lloyd's Pharmacy Clinical Home Care, Neuro Response CIC, Spectrum Community Health CIC, University Hospitals of North Midlands NHS Trust, Whittington Health NHS Trust, and Wirral Community Health and Care FT. To announce the winner from our judging panel, let's welcome Sean Watson, Clinical Nurse Specialist, HIV Community, from Chelsea and Westminster Foundation Trust, Catherine Rees. Hello, I'm Sean Watson and I'm a Specialist HIV Community Nurse. I'm absolutely thrilled to be announcing the winner of the Managing Long-Term Conditions category for the Nursing Times Awards. The judges felt that this was a very clear, focused and innovative application and had been a phenomenal achievement. The impact on individuals had had positive outcomes through receiving care from familiar staff and enabling privacy and dignity. 
judges felt this service could easily be replicated across other care settings and has set a gold standard. And the winner is Spectrum Community Health CIC. Congratulations. And of course, that was Sean Watson, a clinical nurse specialist from Chelsea and Westminster Foundation Trust, not Catherine. Um, but congratulations to Spectrum Community Health CIC. Let's talk to them again. Hey, you're back again. <laughs> you didn't expect to be. I tell you what, your husband's only got over the emotional trauma of your last award. How's he going to do now? Yes, yeah. <laughs> tell us about this one then. Um, so this is the, um, it's the same project, it's introducing hemodialysis in uh, the custodial setting. Um, I've worked with uh, an amazing team of people. Um, I had an amazing manager, so I have to mention, because she supported me throughout it. Um, coming from a REIT background, I saw service was being used, um, that could be used better. Um, and for our patients better in a more uh, caring environment. Um, so yeah, we put a lot of effort into it, a lot of work went into it, um, and this is just the yeah, ice cake to be recognised for it. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. <laughs> Oh, Lindsay, you're going to make Thank us you. all cry if you're not careful. I know, sorry. <laughs> look, second glass of bubbles, maybe. Oh, look, you deserve it. And your team as well behind you. I know you appreciate them as well. But look, it's been lovely to be able to say congratulations, even if we can't see you in person. And please, please, I don't want to see you anymore now. Enjoy the rest of your evening, OK? <laughs> That's it now. That's it. You've I'm had done. enough. <laughs> Take care, Lindsay. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so lovely. We've reached the final award of the evening, and of course it's a big one. It's the Florence Nightingale Nurse of the Year Award, sponsored by Spire Healthcare. During the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife, the Florence Nightingale Nurse of the Year Award aims to recognise a special individual who's gone above and beyond what is expected of them in their day-to-day -day role. Alan, for the final time, would you reveal the nominees? Naga, we have 10 very deserving nominees, and they are Warrant Officer Class 2, Robbie Beach, British Army. Helen Bishton, Spectrum Community Health, CIC. Gemma Clay, Western Sussex Hospitals, FT. Carrie Garavan, Public Health Humanitarian. Natalie Gray, NHS Nightingale, London. Leona Harris, Fairfield Hospital. Ruth Oshikanlu, Goldmind. Louise Rose, King's College, London. Kimberley St. John, Guys and St. Thomas's, FT. And Cindy Wilcox, Artern, CIC. Now, before announcing this year's winner, Nursing Times would like to take a moment to pay tribute to Kimberley St. John, who sadly passed away this summer. Colleagues said Kim transformed palliative and end-of-life care through learning and innovation. She was an inspirational and visionary nurse who transformed so many people's lives through her honesty and passion and brought so much comfort to all who came into contact with her. Kimberly represented the very best in nursing through her passion and commitment and she made things happen that will have a lasting effect on patient care. Now, to reveal our final winner of the evening, let's welcome sponsor representative Alison Dickinson, Group Clinical Director for Spire Healthcare. Hello, my name is Alison Dickinson, Group Clinical Director for Spire Healthcare. I'm absolutely thrilled to be announcing this year's winner of the Florence Nightingale Nurse of the Year category for the Nursing Time Awards. The judges said that the candidate demonstrated passion, drive, and patient-centred care to overcome barriers and delivered a service to improve health inequalities. And the winner is Helen Bishton from Spectrum Community Health CIC. Alison, thanks very much and huge congratulations to Helen who we can talk to now, Helen, hello. You know, you are in exalted company. You would have heard that shortlist and you've been recognised for your achievements. Tell me who 
who supports you? Because you've supported so many with a, a very long and established career, but who's supporting you? Oh, gosh, um, I'm just really, really overwhelmed to get this award. Um, I really want to thank my manager, because he's in hospital at the moment. Um, but he supports me in everything that I do. And I just can't thank him enough. And obviously, I've got a fantastic team of nurses, allied health professionals who I work with. I work in an environment and as um, um, not very glamorous, but it's very rewarding. Thank you. Well, you know, um, I'm going to give you, Helen, um, the final word as the final of our winners tonight. Would you like to say anything to all of those who've been watching this evening, who are in your sector, who are trying their damnedest and their hardest in really challenging times? What would you like to say to them? I mean, this obviously for you feels on top of the world, but you'll be getting back to work tomorrow or you know next week. Do you want to say something just to, to just show everyone why it matters? I just want to say we all do it. An amazing job for amazing people every day and I think everybody, every nurse deserves this award and I just can't believe, I just can't believe this. Well, Helen, I think you've encapsulated the mood of the evening um, and you deserve this, obviously. Um, thank you. I hope you get to celebrate. Good luck to your manager as well, who's, who's unwell at the moment. Um, and thank you for your lovely words. I'm sure you'll, you'll be lifting many a spirit today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Helen Bishton there. Look. Huge congratulations to all the finalists and winners this year. As usual, the standards have been extremely high. All of you should be proud of your achievements. Don't forget, if you do want to find out more about our winners and finalists, you can head over to the shortlist page on Swapcard, the virtual event platform where you can read more about the entries or contact finalists directly. I would personally like to thank each and every one of you out there. The work you do day in, day out is so important. And for that, Nursing Times would like to ask you to take a second in your respective homes or workplaces to make some noise and applaud yourself. You are all responsible for making the nursing profession so outstanding. We're going to make some noise for you in here. It's a small studio and a small team, but we're going to make some noise for you now. Woo! Woo! Woo!